And I remember someone saying Rick turns himself into a pickle. I do just remember kind of immediately leaping on it and saying, well, because that sounds like such a dumb, innocuous thing, like why would Rick do that? And the answer has to be the most complex uh, thing. I'm not a big fan of idea worship. I, I, I think that people make the mistake of um, trying to come up with a good idea. I, I, I think that television in particular is, for better or for worse, it's a, it's a comfort uh, tool. Jeff Winger was, was the parts of me that had adapted to performance and manipulation of others and uh, um, uh, getting people to like them and materialism and all those things and that Abed was not, not, not the real me, but the parts of me that would be left over if you carved all that Jeff Winger off. This is a great time for, it, it, point of view is really selling. You know, I think we've discovered something that, that old world television either had mistaken or was lying to us about, which was the idea that there was this goal, you're supposed to make, accomplish this goal of having everybody in the living room watch one show. Mm -hmm. These cool episodes where you take an icon and you say, well, what makes them tick on the inside? And you do that by depriving them of, of everything. Um, and then you, so, you learn so much more about them. Everyone's got the long version of their story, but it's, it's sort of like the headlines are sort of similar to Aisha's, I guess. <laughs> Just watching TV and then going, I want to affect people with, through this thing and moving out here and stumbling into a job. <laughs>
That is the only way that I manage to stay productive, is by finding ways to get paid to do the things that I would rather do. Um, otherwise, I'll just sit around and play video games. Uh, I think that he, I'm not a big fan of idea worship. I, I, I think that people make the mistake of um, trying to come up with a good idea. I, I, I think that television in particular is for better or for worse, it's a it's a comfort uh, tool. It's a it's a it's a family that that you're seeking, whether it's a workplace family or a, it's it's um, and the best TV is uh, it's it's the idea is it's just a it's just a generic foundation, and it's the execution, it's the it's the actors that you discover, it's the stories that you tell that that make a show good or bad. So I. And, and, I, and so because it starts with a script, I, I always look for what I think uh, non-writing executives look for, which is a writer who is passionate about something. Um, of all the characters you've created, which one do you most identify with? Uh, I, I mean, I, I guess for me it was always like it's a, a straight down the middle split on community between Jeff Winger and Abed that... that <laughs> That was the idea. Was that <laughs> Jeff Winger was was the parts of me that had adapted to performance and manipulation of others and uh, um, uh, getting people to like them and materialism and all those things. And that Abed was not 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 the real me, but the 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 parts of me that would be left over if you carved all that. Jeff Winger off, and vice versa. That neither is the real me. That that's the that there's there's a if you fused those two characters together in a perfect 50-50 uh, alloy, that it would it would turn into this like slovenly, weird, stammering, um, uh, uh, selfish uh, uh, person. This is a great time for. It, 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 point of view is really selling. You know, I think we've discovered something that, that old world television either had mistaken or was lying to us about, which was the idea that there was this goal, you're supposed to make, accomplish this goal of having everybody in the living room watch one show. Mm -hmm. So Knight Rider's got a sexy guy for the mom and the sexy woman for the dad, and then it's a talking car for the kids and all that stuff. And, and this golden age of television is being driven by, frankly, the fragmentation of the media down to the point where there's not enough money to support the kind of guy that chomps on a cigar and makes that his goal. <laughs> and, and all of a sudden, you've got Vince Gilligan saying, like, I'm going to tell you a really specific story <laughs> from the darkest part of my soul. Um, and you have Shonda Rhimes is popping up, and you have you, you it, it, at FX like John Landgraf has this culture over there about point of view. Everything is about point of view, yeah. and, it, and and we've discovered that it doesn't have to be relatable. You don't have to be transgender to recognize to be intrigued and drawn into transparent, and you don't have to be black to watch Atlanta, you can even acknowledge that you don't understand 30% of it if you're white and, you, and that you like it that way. Um, because people, 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 people really like point of view. They like, they like specific stuff. Um, and so, and so uh, that is, I think it's like mar marketability be damned, you know? Somebody comes into, if it's about collaboration, if it's, a, if it's about production and you're looking for a writer with a pitch, then listen for actually like the kind of opposite of what your instincts might say. Like, like listen for something that sounds so unsellable. And then, uh, because it, it, it's a derivative medium that's all about watering things down and compromising them and executing them. Yeah. So it's like, find something insane and draw a frame <laughs> around that and sell that. You know, that's yeah. what Rick and Morty is. It's just, it's just like this thing that should not be allowed to be <laughs> a show. And then I came in with my kind of sterile, you know, TV muscles and, and said, okay, but it's a family and, and all that stuff. Does Rick's knowledge and awareness of the universe make his life harder to lead and enjoy? Yeah. And doesn't that take you back to the timeless question of what's the point of learning more if I just have to get through my week? Yeah, it's rough. And I think that that's maybe the one area of overlap between community and Rick and Morty, which really have completely different almost opposite religions. That what is it, community's religion? Community's religion is that anything that is human is more valuable than anything inhuman. Any system, any rule, if it does not have a beating heart, it is wrong. 
compared to anything with a beating heart. And period. what is Rick and Morty's religion? Rick and Morty's religion is nobody exists on purpose. If you are terrified by that, the best we can say is you're not alone. I, I, it, uh, it's mainly like Pierce is the baby boomer, like I said, so that comes with all kinds of foot and mouth sort of attempts to not be racist, resulting in being racist. Then you have Britta, who's like sort of the defiant uh, uh, early 30s, late 20s white girl who also wants to save the world, wants to be responsible for it, is fighting against her own selfishness, so she's very often inadvertently uh, uh, the voice of, of, of the oppressor on accident. You have the, the younger characters, Troy, Annie, and Abed, they're, they exist in this sort of like what is being called by academics as this post-racial world, which some would scoff at, like, like, like we can never have that, but, but like they're, they're bored with race you know like this is how i perceive people in their early 20s like it's hack now uh to them they, they they're they're over it uh and 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 so they exist in that world but britta and jeff just sort of like he'll say anything to to, to get what he needs and he's aware that that uh, politics and race and gender are all hot buttons that you can push to get anybody to think anything you want and that's how he gets by um so that i don't that's that's how i think about the world i'm obsessed with race i'm obsessed with gender i'm obsessed with the things that divide us i i, I can't stop thinking about them if i try i'll 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 make an ass of myself even more so than I than I do when I'm not trying. So so I I embrace it, and, and that's what the show's about. It's called Community because it's about like it examines dynamics between people. While I was there, I took a biology class, and because I was 32 and had nothing else to do, I was like acing biology. And all these like younger people who are like juggling full time jobs at Jiffy Lube and like like also having to take biology and still full of hormones and all this stuff, they're getting C's. And they're seeing my A's and they come up to me and they go, we want to study with you. And they say it in such a way that makes me feel like I'm going to be a huge jag if I say no. And I, I didn't want to, though, because I had nothing to gain. But, to, you know, I was like, what, do you want to siphon off my A? Uh, you want to just suck my genius juice out of the fuel tank? And what, what, what do I get, a, a keychain? Um, and that's the kind of person I was at that time. I still am. But, but uh, <laughs> since then, I've joined a nunnery. Uh, no, I, I, I was, uh, I, and so I was in this tiny room in the Glendale uh, Community College Library with these guys learning cellular mitosis for an exam. And I didn't get it, and they didn't get it, and I was miserable to be showing up for this, and it was 9 PM. And then at some point during that evening, uh, an experience happened to me that I bookmarked in my head for the future when I ran out of ideas about robots and stuff. And I, 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 the, the experience was, oh my god, I like these people who have nothing to do with my career. Uh, I like these people who I've never, who I would never hang out with if I met them in a bar. I like these people who I, I, I'm, I've, I'm bonding with them for some reason other than, uh, you know, I don't know, like like thinking that it's going to contribute to me somehow. Uh, I was born white, and uh, <clears throat> <laughs> this wizard appeared on my porch one day and said, "You get to write in TV uh, because of this, and for no other reason." And they, I was whisked away to a magical world many of you don't know about, uh, <laughs> where opportunities grow on trees, and we roll around in them naked and just shit on them. Uh, <laughs> And it's so fun, and I'm so untalented. No, I, I, uh, I, I, my, my, my story is very similar to Aisha's. Actually, I just grew up like watching TV obsessively at the uh, lower middle class suburbs of Milwaukee. I, 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 I ended up doing improv and stand up, and then was writing a, a comic book uh, with my friend Rob Schraub, who and that got optioned. So we moved out to uh, L.A., thinking that meant we got to write the movie. Uh, we, <laughs> that, that, that's not what that means. Uh, so we, we, we bought our Sid Field book and things and we learned to write a spec screenplay of our own. We got very, very lucky, uh, got repped by UTA, got a meeting with Robert Zemeckis' new company that he was just forming, uh, pitched them like 10 ideas and sold one of them, which was Monster House, which took 10 years to make. In the meantime, we dicked around a lot and uh, I, I, I went through a lot of ups and downs and things and I actually never worked on any staffs of, uh, of anybody else's shows. Um, uh, I just kept writing pilots that didn't, that nobody wanted to shoot and uh, eventually one stuck and that was uh, the community said so I went from 
total schlub to a uh, showrunner, which sometimes is a little difficult because I find myself working over people who are really more than qualified like, like, like to be in my position. So uh, it's, 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 I have my own issues. And, uh, <laughs> uh, the, the, uh, and, and so that, that's it. I don't know. That's a sh Everyone's got the long version of their story, but it's, a, it's sort of like the headlines are sort of similar to Aisha's, I guess. <laughs> Just watching TV and then going, I want to affect people with, through this thing and moving out here and stumbling into a job. <laughs>